channel we are going to weigh the gt500 today i have been wondering how much weight difference there is between my 17 california special which i have weighed before and the gt500 which i own now now the california special on drag wheels which was uh ray stars uh weighed 37.80 with a quarter tank of gas without me in it we are between a half a tank and quarter tank of gas right now and i had the stock wheels on the car so we're going to see exactly how much difference there is in weight between the two now whenever i get the drag wheels for this we will be weighing this car again and comparing the two i also have another modification which no i have not got on yet man between work and out at dover's uh, other shop i have been very busy this week very very busy um but we are going to uh, one of the mods that i'm doing will actually shave a little bit of weight off the car and the drag wheels will also be lighter than the wheels that are on the car now uh, so i wanted to kind of get a weight on the car full weight so that's what we're going to do today and that's where we're headed Okay, thank you. All right, guys, so we're gonna find out how much this car weighs. All right, I got it weighed, and uh, I'm actually kind of happy with what it weighs, to be honest with you. But uh, I pulled over here because on I was on the other side where all the trucks are, and I don't wanna get in nobody's way, so I went ahead and got the results, pulled around here so I could talk to you guys. So, let me see get out here so the car this car weighs 3760 without me in it a little over a quarter tank right around a quarter tank and stock wheels all right so the car weighs 3760 and uh, just a little bit of information chris has a if you ever the guy with if you've uh, been around the channel for a while you've seen it before he was at mustang week last year with us um but anyway he has a 2011 gt500 svt performance package so the same exact wheels same exact setup the only difference is is that he does not have the recaros and his car weighed 3800 pounds so and i think he was around a quarter tank gas or around that area also yeah guys 3760 and we are going to get lighter with the drag wheels and we with the other modification that i've got that i need to get on this car I've got to figure it out. Uh, this video will come out Thursday afternoon. I'll be going live Thursday evening. Uh, however, if I didn't go live, I might have an opportunity to put the stuff on. But at the same time, there is something else that I'm getting in with the drag wheels that I need to install too. So I could kind of do all the installation at one time. And that would save me put it on the rack twice so i might do that a few of you have made suggestions for videos and i'm going to do them because it, you know anytime you guys give me suggestions i take it i take it into high consideration and if it's able for me to do them i'm going to do them uh, after all you know we do get kind of we get kind of set back and we do run out of content this being a new car i'm not really running out of content right now i've got so much going on with it that I could literally, if I didn't have to work, I could literally film you five, probably four to five videos this week on this car. One of the videos that y'all asked me for was to do a kind of a 
for a, kind of like not really a review, but kind of a, I've owned the car for a month now. I've had it for a while now. My kind of likes, anything I don't like about it, and uh, just kind of like a my take on the car. So I will be getting that out to y'all shortly. I don't know. It'll probably be next week sometime. I'll get that video out. It might be this week. Uh, the next video y'all get should be Saturday, probably midday. And uh, that might be that video, or it might be me installing the modification video. Just depends on how things go this week. Well, uh, if the track is open Friday night, I'll be out there with the wife's car, uh, I think. I'm not sure. I usually don't miss out on a track night, and I'm definitely not going to have this car ready. I was hoping to get everything ready, but the wheels are probably going to be here Friday, and the tires, and then I'll have to have them mounted and balanced. So, yeah. Guys, a lot of stuff going on. But guys, I've got some footage for you guys from the uh, Saturday when I was out at Dover's. Wasn't really enough to make a solid video to kind of entertain you guys, and I hate making videos at least don't halfway entertain you. Hopefully this one did, um, but Philip, it did should entertain you anyway. Philip got to play in the dirt, uh, if you will, and I got an update for all the cars out there. We got Philip out here. Philip, you working off that tow ride home last night? Man, I'm, I'm just trying to get it so far out so I can put the big boy over there. <laughs> Look, got me a little late. Got a late fill, Roy. Well, he done put you to work. Look at that big old hole over there. Couldn't find the pipe. And then start over here digging and bust the water line. Come on, a little late. Phil Roy Jenkins. Hey. Phil Roy Jenkins Lake? Yeah. <laughs> it's a little one. Oh, shit. I'm about to get off in there. Get my swimming trunks on. It's hot out here. <laughs> Alright, Philip is going to operate some heavy machinery. I don't know what to think about this. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Oh, Philip does know those little something, something. My dad's a heavy equipment operator. Right. 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 Yeah, stretch your bucket out so it'll uh... There you go, Jenny. He's backing up. I think Philip know what he's doing. All right, Philip got done playing Bob the Builder. <laughs> That's a good one, boy. You see my trench? I I busted the water pipe three times. Is I, that your water bottles? No, it's not my water bottles. Man, somebody done been in my lake and took my water out. I busted the first time with the darn shovel. Then I came over here with that uh, the heavy machinery right there. Busted it right there. Then it busted again over there. I know it doesn't matter, you know what. You got it all then fixed. I, yeah. Then you come through here, you know, got my trench. I kind of messed up a little bit when I when I ran over it, you know, see, see when my, my thing fell down. But, yep, yeah, that's what I ran today, boys. You need any kind of construction work, I like Phil Roy Jenkins. Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder. 1-800-666-928-0. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't right. So, Philip. Philip, 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 Philip. So I know people want to know since the video of the track incident, what are you doing with uh I'm selling it. Buy me a Camaro. I'm just gonna buy me a Camaro. Selling it. I've been for real too. Let me get my water. <laughs> now uh uh I went ahead to order some DSS DSS axles. 800 horsepower rated so hopefully um they don't break this time so when and we, soon, soon we put them bad babies on there 
We're gonna drop down 10 pounds of air, good burnout, and we're gonna send straight to the moon. So 7,000 RPM launch? 8,000. Okay, let's get a clutch first. Nah, clutch. Ain't gonna need a clutch. Gonna need a clutch. Nah, I don't need <laughs> Go ahead and get that yeah, Manta clutch. I've been past 20 something times, 6,000 clutch dumps. It, it can hold 20 more. All okay. right. As you see, George's car is down on all four wheels now. Last time y'all seen this car, it was up on a, the uh, stand. Yep. Now it's on all four wheels. It's coming together. Got the cage in. Got the rear suspension on. They don't have it adjusted yet. But it's just all on there. Got it down on the wheels. At the front K member in and everything on. Got the wheels on up here, of course. It's coming together. And then they've been they have been super busy on the strawberry car. It has got, as you see, the engine is sitting in it. Got the long tubes on it. Engine's in it, so it's it's getting there very, very quick. So this will be at four takeover on may the 4th so uh highly looking forward to seeing it rolling down the track well it might not be going down track but it will be there and that's my birthday weekend so everybody that's going to be there bring me like a six pack or something it's, it's his birthday weekend that is mm -hmm. that is very true mm -hmm. hey we're going to for Birthday weekend. Then you got Lee's car. It's coming together. The engine bay's done, of course. I showed you that before. But it is coming together. Got all the rear suspension parts. I'm going to build the rear end up under. Where are they got to they run around here somewhere. And uh, you'll, you'll get a further video on this car I've, I've already been recording some and i think i'm gonna put it all in one video the out and the in and all that but we've got the engine setting out gotta get all this stuff onto that engine so then when we get done with that then we're gonna drop my motor and we're gonna put the oil pump gears in it <laughs> ken he's gonna be a busy man but yeah Ken stays busy. So guys, a lot of stuff going on. A lot of, it's going to be a fun season this year. Uh, I'm going to be extremely busy between going to events, working on cars, work, family. It, it's going to be insane for me. I'm extremely excited, guys. For one, it is 67 degrees. It is 657, and the sun is just now fading away. And I love summer. I love spring and summer, guys. A lot of y'all asked about uh, my healing process, and it is going very well. Uh, as you see, I got compression sleeves and gloves on both arms right now. Um, and the right arm comes off. I can stop wearing it this Friday. The left arm, I have to wear for three more weeks after this Friday. So... The, even though that this one seemed like it was hurt worse, uh, I talked to the doctor and they said that this arm was actually burnt deeper than this arm. So even though I thought it was worse because of everything, I'm not going to go into detail, I don't want to gross people out, but everything that this arm looked like, but this arm healed faster than this, the right arm healed faster than the left arm. And uh, But just want to kind of give you an update, I'm doing well, uh, it's going extremely well. I've been back at work for a month. Everything's going great. When I first went back to work, if I bumped my arm, my left arm especially, if I bumped it, I'd get a blood blister or just, it was just very fragile skin. I have to be very careful, be very careful. I can't, I can't speak. Be very careful though for one year. They said I could not get sunburned in any of the areas that I got burnt for a solid year. So, uh, I'm going to be out in the sun, so I've got SPF 50 lotion. I've got moisturizing cream for the face with the SPF 50 in it. And uh, whenever the arm stuff comes off, if y'all see me around this summer and I've got like a thin long sleeve shirt on, just understand that I'm trying to be careful. And I might be wearing one of those hats that kind of come out, you know, 
but we'll see. <laughs> but anyway, I got to be very careful with my skin. But uh, enough of the rambling. Stay tuned for the subscribers ride coming up. But if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time. Looks like a can. All right, all right, all right. Looks like a can. Run, run! Oh my God! Back to the mini hoe. All right, for those of you that stick around to the end of my video, I do have the rear wheels. The front wheels are on order. Come to find out, Daryl had these. I told Daryl that I was wanting some 15-inch wheels for the back of the car. I was wanting some weld S71s. He just so happened to have a set. He had It was off a uh, Red Boss 302 that he was tuning. The guy was wanting to sell the wheels and tires. So he actually bought the rear wheels and tires from the guy. I think that's all he had. But as you can tell, it's got the red lettering, which we are going to get rid of. Or as you can see, I've already been working on getting it off. But uh, that was just me kind of just doing that. But we're going to get some stuff and get that off. I still got to clean the wheels up really well. They are in excellent shape. The tires have a lot of life left in them. They're Mickey Thompson ET Street R Biasply. And if you remember the 17, I ran Mickey Thompson ET Street R radials on the 17. However, this is a manual car. So we are running the same tire, just a Biasply. Cody had them on his Fox body, and they did extremely well. So these were already on here. I got a great deal on them from Daryl. They cut. They do have the center caps and the lug nuts that came with it. And I do have the brand. I ordered brand new front wheels, uh, S71 front wheels. So they should be here this week, as we talked about earlier in the video. Also, guys, uh, and I have the uh, sway bar relocation kit and every everything to make this this wheel work on the GT500. So we've got that, and then this. If you can guess what's in this box. I'll send you a free shirt. Now, it's going to be extremely hard because it's not going to be something you can easily guess at. It is BMR. That gives you a little heads up, but it's... N anyway, if you can guess, you can guess correctly. The first one to guess correctly gets a free t-shirt. So, all right. Just to give you kind of a hint, it goes with that box. Okay, that's enough. All right. See you later, guys.